All Eight Eyes is a book from Dark Horse Comics written by Steve Fox. It follows a guy named Vin who, after getting kicked out of his apartment in New York, finds himself wandering the streets. Whilst in the park, he comes across a hobo named Reynolds who at first seems to be killing a man, but it soon turns out was trying to save someone from being attacked by giant spiders. Vin finds out that there are giant spiders everywhere in New York, and because they stay away from the rich, all the people they are killing get overlooked, and they tend to go unnoticed. There's a message in there somewhere. As it would mean they would have to deal with them. Reynolds has other ideas. He wants to expose them to the world, and in particular, kill a certain spider. Reynolds is chasing the, the big one. A spider who killed his family and caused him to become disfigured. Sort of his white whale as it's referred to in the book. Alongside this we have a parks officer named Dominguez who's trying to get her boss to take the rumours of giant spiders seriously and starts her own mission to get proof of the spiders. These stories culminate in a subway encounter and quite a dramatic finish that I didn't think would hit as hard as it did. While reading the book, I was surprised that I started to care for the characters, and by the end I was invested in Reynolds and Vin's fate. It's only short, with the main story taking up around 100 pages, and a backup story filling up the rest of the book. It's a fun B-movie read, and if you're a fan of 80s horror films, you'll know what I mean when I say that themes of the story have a lot in common with the movie Neon Maniacs look it up <laughs> I think it's free to watch on um, YouTube if you want to see it uh, it's, it's, it's a strange one uh, the art is by Piotr Kowalski and has a sketchy style that feels grungy and kind of fits with the style of the story the action scenes have motion and emotion and I wasn't disappointed by the quality of the art Dark Horse has been producing some really fun new work lately and this would fit nicely in the library of anyone who wants to have a story that fits in the B-movie mood. Um, the book is going for around £12 in paperback format but if like me you are running out of space then you can get a digital copy for around a £5 mark which I think is a really good value buy. Did you know about this book? Let me know what you thought about it.